anime review ding diary of our day at the breakwater anime review a girl by the name of hina and her family has just moved to the quaint sea town hoping to savor the sight of the peaceful ocean hina stumbles upon a girl named yuka or yuki for a while an upperclassman at her new school who invites hina to join her in fishing Hina reels in an octopus, which falls onto her. Being afraid of bugs and big creatures, she panics and brave begs Yuki to remove it from her. Yuki sees this as an opportunity to force Hina to join the school breakwater club, a club where members gather, catch, and eat various types of marine life as their main activity. Although her attempt to refuse to join failed, Hina slowly begins to discover the hidden joys in fishing. Her views on the sport changes, now looking forward to all the delightful experiences she can take part in alongside her fellow club members. This anime uh, premiered April 7th and it ended September 22nd because it was delayed due to the uh, COVID-19. But it did end, like, as I'm recording this, like, three days ago. It is premiered spring 2020 has 12 episodes, it's based off of Funny Nation who is licensed by it. It's a, based off of a manga series as well. It is Slice of Life, Comedy School, and Senin. It is also 23 minutes per episode and is rated PG-13. Now I will say, when I did watch this, I was very intrigued to have a, well, I was very intrigued to see an anime that focuses more on the Japanese seaside, like countryside, is aesthetic. Also having a girl who well, I'm not, not, not going to get too much away. Let's say our hobby wasn't initially first sewing. I mean, it wasn't fishing, but it was definitely craft, art and craft. And also to be forced to join a club is kind of mean, in my opinion. But also, you could just see, like, when you first watched how deathly terrified she is afraid of bugs and big creatures, especially an octopus that lands on her. But also, I think it's very wholesome. I know everyone not, might not be a fan of slice of life but i think give this anime a try it was very easy going anime i'm like it took a different topic of a different japanese club especially fishing because i've never seen like a fishing club before um i could be wrong but you know many times of life that i watched even the countryside that focuses either a, a particular group of girls like uh lucky star uh nanam boomerang any of those slices of life which i really enjoy but, but for this one for the breakwater club it does something different because you see how like they catch the fish how they you know cook them gut them and also it's interesting to see like how Hina as a character grows from her dislike of fishing and see how she comes to enjoy it a lot more. And also shows for all the rest of the characters good strong character development, which I thoroughly enjoy. Like the animation was lovely. And also just to see her pure excitement every time she caught something to like fully enjoy and like slowly get over her fear. But also she kind of like incorporates her craftiness into it when it comes to helping the other members in the fishing club. So you gotta think. Even though you have one hobby for one thing, it comes to handy for the new hobby that you're trying to try out. And overall, I think it was interesting to show people, like, you might have a similar interest in that one, but you also might enjoy a new hobby. So you could try different things and discover new skills and, you know, that you never knew you had before. I think this animation is, like, completely. And with it being really short, I thoroughly enjoy it. Like, 12 episodes, not that bad, especially with each of them being, like, 23 minutes. You could easily get through this within like a day because I thoroughly enjoy a lot and I love this series and I hope you will too. Check out Diary of Our Day at the Breakwater. I think you look like a laid back like chill anime that teaches about fishing and marine life. I think this is the anime for you. Plus if you like sewing and knitting and you also want to incorporate into fishing, I think this is one way to do it if you watch this anime. Thoroughly, I would give this like a 9 out of 10. Like honestly, I love it. I just wish there were more episodes by understanding due to COVID that it put the anime like on hold and like they also could only produce probably one season which is fine i completely understand that but thoroughly give this a try if you haven't seen this i thoroughly enjoy it i love the character drama of all the characters and um, the supporting cast that, along with them just like give this a try i thought this show was lovely the details and the scenery was spent like fantastic and also i commend the voice actors for bringing these characters to life and also just to see the pure draw of, of all the characters loving fishing is like pure like it's lovely and to see like people going from introverts to extroverts and like helping each other out i just love it a lot and i feel like it's sad that this anime has gone over the radar due to COVID 19 but i'm sure like once like 
everything comes to like hopefully a better by then but like also i feel like this is gonna be a very underrated anime because it's not as popular as most of the other anime that's been released this year but i think you should definitely check it out and let me know what you think in the comment section and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you real soon for another anime review and until then bye